La, 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 la. Well, hello and welcome to Vloon day 10. I'm super red right now because I have been painting on my hands and knees. It's been awesome. Mom's here too. She's in the dungeon. She's making my dungeon undungeon-y. Where is she? There she is. Hi! Ready okay. my paintbrush. Turning its light. Uh-huh. And the crazy thing is this used to be the lightest area in the place. So yeah, it's kind of insane. It's looking awesome though. So anyway, the FedEx guy just came by and I got a package. So I figured I would show you what it is. I think these are my drapes. Um, I think I got them, it was either on Overstock or it was on Wayfair and I can't remember, but I'll open them up and show you my drapes. And this, you guys, might be like a total hit or miss. I don't know, I ordered them online. I did not see them in person. So I have no idea what they're gonna look like. Ooh, let's see, let's see. Oh, they're not totally horrible. All right, where did I get them from? So I got them from Wayfair. If I can find them, I'll link them below for you guys. But they are the Style, oops, the Style Domain One Rod Pocket Panel in Antique Satin. And they are the 108 inch length. Um, I know a lot of you guys have said, Go check Ikea, but I was at Ikea and I didn't like any of the stuff they had, unfortunately. So this is the color and let's see. I know that the wall looks really gray, but it's actually like a grayish color and most of my stuff is like warmer in tone. So I thought this might look nice, but it's actually gonna go on this wall here. And then underneath this panel is going to be a bunch of white shears. So, you know, I don't really mind this color at all. I was kind of going more for like an oatmeal kind of color, just a little tad bit lighter, but I don't mind this. What do you think, Mom? It's gonna have the white shears underneath it. Yeah, no, that's good. So it'll like you know, break it up. They set off, yeah, set off your walls. Yeah. No, that looks nice. So, but it's not orange, which I'm trying to get away from because no. everything over here is orange. And this is more of that like cocoa brown, um, light, really light cocoa brown. I got four of them, and let me turn you around. So, they're gonna go one here, one here, and then a ton of white shears in the middle, and then one dark panel, one dark panel, and then a bunch of white shears in the middle. So, I know it's kinda like hard to see because it's so bright in here, which I guess is a good problem to have, but that is the plan. So I'm gonna keep these, because I think it was a great deal, as well as I actually really like the color, so we're gonna go for it. We're gonna just go for it. All right, well, I'm gonna put those like in a closet somewhere so they don't get paint all over them, but I am heading over to Subway for lunch to grab some lunch for us because it's about that time and we're both really hot and sweaty and I think it's time for a break. So, I will check back with you guys in a little while. So I wanted to give you guys a little progress report. I am in the loft upstairs. That's the downstairs. Um, so I have been painting this wall white. I am using Kills. That is what my painter recommended to do this. So I'm doing one coat in Kills, and then the other two coats I'm gonna be doing in that Benjamin Moore product. I think it's called Advanced, and it's in a satin finish um, for this wall. And then also, dun -da -da -da, I did, well it's hard to see. Hold on, let's get the white balance to figure out. I also am doing the casing as well, so I just did that all in kills, but I will do this in that high gloss like my painter did those windows as well, so they'll all kind of like match. But I wanted to show you something that has really been turning my crank for the, probably about the half past like 45 minutes to an hour that I've been doing this. So I'm on the floor now. Here's my little painty brush because this is gonna be like impossible to roll, but let me show you. This is like the most satisfying thing to make this pine wall turn white. And I know, I know it looks really janky right now, but it's just the first layer. So, oh, this is so satisfying, you guys. When I first started doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. So my mom ran upstairs and was like, oh my God, that looks awesome. So I just had to show, I just had to share, yay. I love this. It's gonna look so nice when it's done, but it's gonna take about an hour for the first layer to dry, and then I can do my second coat and then the final coat after that. So it'll be a few hours until this is all done, but oh, it looks amazing, so satisfying. So I am ready for my second coat. 
This is all done and primed with the kills. So I'm using this Benjamin Moore Advance and it's in the satin. So I'm just using it on my windowsill right now because mama is using the step stool, which I was using before to get the higher stuff so I don't have to bend over all the time. But the satin is gonna go on all the boards, but around the trim here and here is gonna be the high gloss, just like on the other side. So I'm gonna do all the satin first, all the baseboards, and then I'll cut in with the other stuff around the windowsill in just a little bit. But I wanna show you what I was using. I'm still using the same brush. I already cleaned it out. It's a little bit wet still, but I think that's gonna be okay. But I will show you guys in a little while how it all turns out. So here we have Emily actually applying paint. So she's being very satisfied here by... Mm -hmm. This is my first coat of the Benjamin Moore Advance. So I've got one more to go after this dries. So this is just kills. This is wet. Let's look at Advance. So there's the one coat and here is mm -hmm. with the nice coat. Look at how nice and shiny and bright and white that is. And now it's gonna be so nice That's like when two. it's... Oh, look at there's an action shot right Ooh. there. Is proof that I'm actually Woo! painting and not just the mama. Looks really good. Oh yeah. I'm working, wow. working, working, working. Unless I got too much paint. Oh yeah, not too much. It's all the pressure. Well, that's what makes it special. I know. Yeah, these planks are special. I'll give them that. I know, <laughs> I know. Looks good. Looks good. Good job, Em. Good job. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> okay, so we're in Emily's kitchen right now, and she had, I'm gonna zoom you around here. She had some squares, some black squares on her tile that she detested. So they're totally different than all the rest. And she had this bright idea after trying to sand it down that didn't do anything to just paint it. Turns out, the paint color for the other tiles is almost the exact same color as the walls in this entire house. So let me see if I can. She said I should try this. You're turning into a vlogger, Mom. Hang on, hang on. We'll see. Yeah. She's, she's pressuring me here. Mom, vlogger. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. I can multitask at a lot of things, but I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. This is going to probably require a couple more coats, but it certainly makes the black tile disappear here. I don't know if I'm even getting this right on the camera. She'll have to edit this out probably, or do something with it. The magic of editing. Anyway, so it's actually looking, hey, that actually looks pretty darn good. I kind of like it. I'll touch that up a little bit more and do some more on these other squares. So that's the progress. And let me show you what else I did. So my job today was to get rid of the the dungeon that was in the front foyer area. So it is now light and bright. So when you walk in her townhouse, you're not going, ooh, I'm in a cave. Actually, that color looks different there because only because it really is a cave over there, but it is the same color. But it is looking pretty darn good. So I've done the two coats and two cut-ins and it looks pretty good. We're just waiting for it to dry and then take down the, the green froggy tape. So that's what we've got going on. Let me give you a backup view here of how Emily's doing up there. Right. Whoop. Oh, there she is. Oh. There she is. Trying to work away. She's I doing good. The today. Yeah. Well, we got the fans going in here and the air conditioning on, but no windows open. It's hotter than bejesus outside today. Gross. Yeah. Uh, the uh, air yeah. index, yeah, with the humidity, it's about 100 degrees outside. And yes, that's what it's like in Minnesota. So. And gross. Yeah, so it's kind of icky. So, so we're getting hot and sticky inside the house anyway. But at least we got fans going on. So it smells like paint. We're getting high in the fumes here. So whoop, whoop. we're having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm done. See ya. Bye. Oh. So I just came downstairs because mom's like, oh, look at the tile. They look awesome. 
Okay, so explain what just happened. Well, there was like a little bristle <laughs> in there, and I was that. trying to pick it up, and it just went berserko. So let's. <laughs> well, here's the problem, you guys. These tiles are like a bathroom tile, so they're like a really shiny. I tried to scuff them up with um, sandpaper, but they just wouldn't take a scuff like at all. So I don't know, <sighs> but I assume that. I mean, once it dries, it'll probably be fine, but oh, I'll obviously, <laughs> I'll keep these uh, things, uh, I'll keep the paint on hand, obviously, so yeah. if it does ever like peel off, but it yeah. Probably, it probably will peel off. It probably will peel off over time, but honestly, you guys, I'm gonna end up remodeling the, doing redoing the backsplash at some point anyways, so. But this just makes it aesthetically look a little bit more pleasing to my eyeballs. It's a temporary fix. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is not gonna be like a forever fix. <laughs> so, don't make it black now, don't make it black. <laughs> yeah, it could happen very easily. I know, exactly. Oops, I missed one over here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It blended in so well I couldn't She's see missing it. stuff, she's missing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Oh, well. Oh, that, that was funny. <laughs> Oopsie doopsies! It uh, kind of scared me there. <laughs> like, oh, what did I do? Oh, wait, that's the original tile. Well, now you can see what color the tile was originally. Right? It exactly. <laughs> well, hey. There's <gasps> a Doyle dog in here. Well, hello. I have showered. This is like a no makeup day situation. By the way, do you like my new attire from Erin Condren? By the way, got my blanket to match and my dog. He doesn't really match, but he still likes it. So, I am home now. Um, went to Walmart after painting because we can't go to Target like that, but we can go to Walmart looking the way that we did today. And got, finally, I actually found that rod that I was looking for that extends more than I think it was like 84 inches from Lowe's the other day. So I did end up finding that conversion rod. So I will go back to Lowe's and return those ones. So I was happy to find it there and it was only like 15 bucks. So I got two of those. And then I also got some of my favorite outshine bars, which is what I had for dinner tonight. I don't know, like we had Culver's for lunch. Um, I was gonna go get Subway, but my mom really wanted a turkey, not a turkey, a chicken sandwich is what she wanted. And, um, I was in the drive-thru and it was like 90 something degrees out and like I know that's probably not a lot for some places but in Minnesota oh my gosh we're not like hot people like <laughs> I run hot anyways so I don't know it was just like not happening so anyway don't throw on the phone uh oh the favorite brother is on the favorite phone all right well I should close out the vlog here I am going to hang out well I'm gonna go talk to my brother but um I am going to watch some more Orange is the New Black tonight. I might make some popcorn um, because all I had was an outshine bar, so <laughs> we'll see. And um, yeah, I think that's it. So tomorrow, the day you're watching this, um, I am going to a planner meetup. So I will vlog a little bit there. I don't usually like to vlog other people. Like, I mean, my parents are fine because they I've talked to them about it and they're like, yeah, it's totally fine. It always makes me like uncomfortable and stuff when I show other people. I don't know, it's just a weird thing because sometimes people are like, oh yeah, it's fine, but then like, it's really not fine. I don't know. So um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll like take overviews of like, you know, just like people chatting and stuff. So that's fine, but I don't want to like stick the camera in someone's face, you know, like bah! Doyle allows me to, don't you but, don't you buddy. Doyle has to have his time in the vlog. Oh, don't do that. Oh. He's so gross. All right, well, I'm gonna get going. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog today, even though it's been a makeup-free situation today, but that's all right. And I will leave a link down below to where you can get my PJs and my blankie. Um, it's erincondren.com, if you don't know. Um, if you watch my normal videos, you probably already know that. If you sign up using the link that's provided, it's an affiliate link, so. You get, um, you sign up if it's your first order. If you sign up, you get $10 off of anything on the website. So, um, the cool thing is you get an email for $10 off and then you apply that to your order. Um, they'll send you a couple of other emails, but there is an email that's $10 off. And then when your order ships, then they send me a coupon code for $10 off of my next purchase too, which is how I can like show you guys these. I'm actually gonna talk about the quality of these um, in an upcoming video, 
maybe a favorite maybe not a favorite I don't know you never know all right well I'm gonna go because the dog is begging me to pet him but um, I'm gonna go talk to my brother and I will see you guys for the next balloon bye guys you gonna say goodbye say goodbye Doyle <laughs> bye guys